Lusitania, Portuguese, Lusitania, Spanish, Lusitania or Hispania Lusitana was an ancient Iberian Roman province located where modern Portugal south of the Douro River and part of western Spain the present autonomous community of Extremadura and a part of the province of Salamanca lie. It was named after the Lusitani or Lusitanian people an Indo-European people. Its capital was Emerita Augusta, currently Merida, Spain, and it was initially part of the Roman Republic province of Hispania Ulterior, before becoming a province of its own in the Roman Empire. Romans first came to the territory around the mid-2nd century BC. A war with Lusitanian tribes followed, from 155 to 139 BC. In 27 BC, the province was created. Origin of the name The etymology of the name of the Lusitani who gave the Roman province their name remains unclear. Popular etymology connected the name to a supposed Roman demigod Lusus, whereas some early modern scholars suggested that Lus was a form of the Celtic Lugus followed by another unattested root asterisk tan, supposed to mean tribe. While others derived the name from Lusus, an ancient people mentioned in Avianus's Ora Maritima 4th century AD and from Tan Stan in Iranian, or from Tain, meaning a region, or implying a country of waters, a root word that formerly meant a prince or sovereign governor of a region. Ancient Romans, such as Pliny the Elder Natural History, 3.5 and Varro 116 BC, cited by Pliny, speculated that the name Lusitania had Roman origins, as when Pliny says, Lusum enum liberi patris aut lissum cum eo bachantium nomen dedis Lusitaniae et panna prefectum ius universae. Lusitania takes its name from the Lusus associated with Bacchus and the Lisa of his Bachance, and Pan is its governor. Lusus is usually translated as game or play, while Lisa is a borrowing from the Greek Lisa, frenzy, or rage, and sometimes rage personified. For later poets, Lusus and Lisa become flesh and blood companions even children of Bacchus. Luis de Camo's epic Os Lusiadas which portrays Lucius as the founder of Lusitania, extends these ideas, which have no connection with modern etymology. In his work, Geography, the classical geographer Strabo died ca. 24 AD suggests a change had occurred in the use of the name, Lusitanian. He mentions a group who had once been called, Lusitanians, living north of the Douro River but were called in his day, Calicans. Lusitanians The Lusitani, who were Indo-European speakers, established themselves in the region in the 6th century BC, but historians and archaeologists are still undecided about their ethnogenesis. Some modern authors consider them to be an indigenous people who were Celticized culturally and possibly also through intermarriage. The archaeologist Skirla Lambrino defended the position that the Lusitanians were a tribal group of Celtic origin related to the Lusuans, a tribe that inhabited the east of Iberia. Some have claimed that both tribes came from the Swiss mountains. Others argue that the evidence points to the Lusitanians being a native Iberian tribe, resulting from intermarriage between different local tribes. The first area colonized by the Lusitani was probably the Douro Valley and the region of Beira Alta, present-day Portugal. In Beira, they stayed until they defeated the Celtici and other tribes. Then they expanded to cover a territory that reached Estremadura before the arrival of the Romans. Topic War against Rome And yet the country north of the Tagus, Lusitania, is the greatest of the Iberian nations, and is the nation against which the Romans waged war for the longest times. The Lusitani are mentioned for the first time in Livy 218 BC and are described as fighting for the Carthaginians, they are reported as fighting against Rome in 194 BC, sometimes allied with Celtiberian tribes. In 179 BC, the praetor Lucius Postumius Albinus celebrated a triumph over the Lusitani, but in 155 BC, on the command of Punicus, Punico perhaps a Carthaginian first and Caesarus Caesaros after, the Lusitani reached Gibraltar. Here they were defeated by the praetor Lucius Mummius. 
From 152 BC onwards, the Roman Republic had difficulties in recruiting soldiers for the wars in Hispania, deemed particularly brutal. In 150 BC, Servius Sulpicius Galba organized a false armistice. While the Lusitani celebrated this new alliance, he massacred them, selling the survivors as slaves. This caused a new rebellion led by Viriathus, who was after many attempts killed by traitors paid by the Romans in 139 BC, after having led a successful guerrilla campaign against Rome and their local allies. Two years after, in 137 BC Decimus Junius Brutus Callicus led a successful campaign against the Lusitani, reaching as far north as the Minho River. Romans scored other victories with proconsul Decimus Junius Brutus Callicus and Gaius Marius elected in 113 BC, but still the Lusitani resisted with a long guerrilla war. They later joined Sertorius, a renegade Roman general, troops around 80 BC, and Julius Caesar conducted a successful campaign against them in 61 to 60 BC, but they were not finally defeated until the reign of Augustus around 28 to 24 BC. Roman province Topic <inaudible> Division under Augustus 25 to 20 BC With Lusitania and Asturia and Gaiaisia, Rome had completed the conquest of the Iberian Peninsula, which was then divided by Augustus 25 to 20 BC or 16 to 13 BC into the eastern and northern Hispania Terraconensis, the southwestern Hispania Baetica, and the western Provincia Lusitana. Originally, Lusitania included the territories of Asturia and Gaiaisia, but these were later ceded to the jurisdiction of the new Provincia Terraconensis and the former remained as Provincia Lusitania et Vitones. Its northern border was along the Douro River, while on its eastern side its border passed through Salmantica Salamanca and Caesarabriga Talavera de la Reina to the Anas Guadiana River. Between 28–24 BC Augustus' military campaigns pacified all Hispania under Roman rule, with the foundation of Roman cities like Asturica Augusta Astorga and Bracara Augusta Braga to the north, and to the south Emerita Augusta Merida settled with the Emeriti of the Legio V Alade and Legio X Gemina legions. Between the time of Augustus and Claudius, the province was divided into three conventus juridicus, territorial units presided by capital cities with a court of justice and joint Roman, indigenous people assemblies conventus, that counseled the governor Conventus Emeritensis, with capital in Emerita Augusta Merida, Spain. Conventus Scalabitanus, with capital in Scalabis Iulia Santarém, Portugal. Conventus Pacensis, with capital in Pax Iulia Beja, Portugal the Conventus ruled of a total of 46 populis, five being Roman colonies Emerita Augusta Merida, Spain, Pax Iulia Beja, Scalabis Santarém, Norba Caesarina and Metellinum. Felicitas Iulia Olisipo Lisbon, which was a Roman law municipality and three other towns had the old Latin status Ebora Evora, Myrtilus Iulia Mertola, and Salacia Alcacer du Sal. The other 37 were of stipendiary class, among which Amenium Coimbra, Balsa Tavira, or Mirobriga Santiago do Casim. Other cities include Asanoba Faro, Citobriga Troia, Setubal, Calipo Lyria, or Arabriga Alencar. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Division under Diocletian. Under Diocletian, Lusitania kept its borders and was ruled by a praeses, later by a consularis. Finally, in 298 AD, it was united with the other provinces to form the Diocesis Hispaniarum, Diocese of the Hispanias. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Governors. Quintus Accius Feanenus, Legatus Augusti pro praetor between 19 and 1 BC. Lucius Calventius Vetus Carminius, Legatus Augusti pro praetor 44 to 45. Marcus Salvius Otho Caesar Augustus governor 58 to 68. Gaius Catellius Celer 75 76 to 77 78. Gaius Calpurnius Flaccus 119 120 to 120 121. Gaius Opius Sabinus Julius Nepos Manius Vibius Solemnus Severus under Hadrian 
Lucius Roscius Macius Celer Postumus Mamilianus Virgilius Stabirianus under Hadrian Gaius Javelinus Calvinus between 138 and 140 Aulus Avilius Uranatius Quadratus c. 151c.154 Gaius Cecinus Macer Rufinianus c. 193 c. 197 Vettius Agorius Pretextatus 4th century Coloniae and Municipia Colonia Metellinum Medellin, Badajoz Colonia Norba Caesarina Caceres Colonia Augusta Emerita Merida, provincial capital Colonia Civitas Pacensis Beja, Portugal Colonia Scalabis Presidium Uliam Santarém, Portugal Municipium Caesarabriga Talavera de la Reina, Toledo Municipium Augustabriga Talavera la Vieja, Caceres Municipium Amenium Coimbra, Portugal Municipium Conimbriga Candacia Anova, Portugal Municipium Salmantica Salamanca Municipium Carium Coria, Caceres Municipium Tergalium Trujillo, Caceres Municipium Capara Capara, Caceres Municipium Olisipo Lisboa, Portugal Municipium Agitandiorum Adana Avela, Portugal Municipium Regina Tertulorum Casas de Reina, Badajoz Municipium La Cabriga Lagos, Portugal Notable Lusitanians Viriathus Gaius Apuleius Diocles Legacy of the name As with the Roman names of many European countries, Lusitania was and is often used as an alternative name for Portugal, especially in formal or literary and poetic contexts. The 16th century colony that would eventually become Brazil was initially founded as New Lusitania. In common use are such terms as Lusophone, meaning Portuguese speaking, and Lusitanic, referring to the community of Portuguese language countries once Portugal's colonies and presently independent countries still sharing some common heritage. Prior to his invasion in 1807, Napoleon Bonaparte proposed the establishment of a French-backed puppet kingdom of northern Lusitania as one of the successor states to Portugal under the assumption that such a campaign would result in an easy French victory. The province was also the namesake of the North Atlantic Ocean liner RMS Lusitania infamous for being torpedoed by a German U-boat in 1915. The ship's owners the Cunard Line commonly named their vessels after Roman provinces with the Lusitania so being called after the Roman Iberian province to the north of the Strait of Gibraltar while her sister ship RMS Mauritania was named after the Roman North African province on the south side of the strait. See also Lusitanians Lusitanian mythology Lusitanian language National Archaeology Museum Portugal Emerita Augusta Afiusa Portugal History of Portugal Timeline of Portuguese history Spain History of Spain Timeline of Spanish history Pre-Roman peoples of the Iberian Peninsula Romanization of Hispania Balsa Roman town National Museum of Archaeology Portugal <laughs>